Hello everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Starfield. We're down here in this area of Aquila City called The Stretch, I believe. And we're just exploring a little bit. Uh, last episode we went down there and spoke with Earl about getting this branch that we need for this tree in Aquila City. But he's selling it for 500 credits and I'm not paying 500 credits, so... It really only leaves one option, which is to steal the branch from the museum, which I don't feel real good about. I'm not too happy that that's my only option. Like I said in the last episode, I would much rather steal it from Earl, but that doesn't seem to be an option. So short of giving him 500 credits, we're going to have to steal it from the museum. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and just um, explore a little bit more of the, the stretch here. Just see if there's anything interesting here. Just check it out. And then we'll um, go back to the museum and do our terrible deed. Credits and a digipick. You shouldn't just leave that stuff sitting around there, buddy. Shouldn't do it. There's uh, Aggie's place over there. She wasn't the friendliest person. At least not to, not to my character anyway. So, I guess um, these people can't afford doors. Because most of these places don't even have doors on them. Holy shit. What? What? Why did you say that? That your ship that landed not too long ago? It sure is something. Well, it's something. It's not nothing, citizen. You know, they don't mind if I just walk into their place and check it out. What's up with that cage? trap or something you could arrange things a little neater in here have a little bit more space but hey you know you do you citizen oh here's somebody laying here you okay you okay citizen how's it going how's it going I am just laying in my cot in the middle of the day Citizen, citizen. Security. A little space here. Here. Okay, this place is at least kind of elevated. Oh, I kind of like how they actually have a wall in their place. We got a little fan up here. This one's kind of nice. Relatively nice compared to the other ones we've seen. But, um... Just enough. Only enough space for one person. And they actually have a window, but... Not much of a view. And then I guess we found the end of the stretch here. Not sure, it's making all that racket. Water th flowing through those pipes or something. Over there. Tourist? I give him three minutes before the spell chest is That's a genuine stretch in the nostrils there. <laughs> I suppose the sign of warning or something. As long as they stay clear of Aggies, then. And of boots. Well, it isn't exactly dangerous. But it doesn't do a kill a city crime. Might look up, but the neighborhood's safe enough. Except Aggies. Not much around here. Okay, keep talking. Quiet. Bunch of low talkers. Alright. Let's go back to the museum. The weird thing is, is that it looks like in order to steal this thing, we have to do it right behind Leia standing here. I don't know if she ever leaves. Well, should have a piece of the wood you need. Go bother him. I have artifacts that date all the way back to the time of Solomon Coe himself. The museum is always open to you. Well, good thing. So, yeah, so, like, uh, if there's a way to get her out of here, I don't know what it is. I don't know if she ever leaves. Um, I mean, do you think that she ever, like, goes home for the night? I'm curious. Oh, well, she would just sleep here anyway. <laughs> uh, it seems. So, could I just 
wait until nighttime and see if she leaves? I'm just curious. Let's do it. Let's just do some waiting here. We'll wait. Actually, we'll just sit on the, uh, the couch here. We'll just wait her out. Mostly just curious to see if she leaves. We're gonna wait. So it's like five o'clock local time. So she should be ending her day here pretty soon. I don't know how late she stays open. Let's wait three hours and see what happens. Okay, she's still there. Oh, she's checking the time. Nope, she's still gonna stay open. She's like, hey, sometimes people, you know, wanna come in to the museum late at night. So I gotta stay open. Well, she's not leaving yet, so let's, um, you know, try another three hours here. Okay. She's not gonna leave, is she? Go to bed. Maybe she's not leaving because I'm here. Wouldn't that be funny? I mean, I, I, I doubt that's the case, but um, let's leave and then come back in. Probably turn around and the door will be locked. Okay, it's still, it's still open. I don't see any hours here. So if I wanted to wait, Do I need to sit down? I'm gonna wait some more. Boy, there's a lot of people out here tonight. Here, we'll just have a seat in the chair. Okay, we're gonna wait. I don't know, I mean, it's freaking late. I'll wait till like one or two o'clock in the morning. Let's see what happens. I think we're gonna have to like just do some thievery right behind her. Seems risky. Someone should really bring it up with the powers that be. I'm not sure what law they're talking about. Well, the museum's still open. And there she stands. It's actually a little disappointing. I like to. I like to think that our computer-controlled NPCs go about their day, but uh, she is just up all night, so I guess I just need to sneak over here behind her. Everything you see here is a piece of Aquila City's history. Everybody in this town has a rattler, it seems. All right, let's let's get into the safe. Jeez, to do it right behind her. Okay, so we now have three layers, lovely. This one works on all three layers, this one works, no, no, this one works on the two inner layers, but not the outer layer. This one works on all three layers. This one only works on the outer layer. That is hugely helpful, whoops. Okay, so that one works there, and for the rest of the outer layer, maybe we use this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that and that. Outer layer done. Doesn't mean I did it right though. So this one here works on, so this one works on both, both. Oh, that one's done. This one only works on the outer layer and it works there. And then that means that, hmm, I don't see one that's gonna fit these crap. See, I may have been a little too hasty. I don't think this one's gonna fit those other holes. Quite sure it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I may have been a little too hasty there. A little too hasty. This one works on the outer ring. It says anyway. 
Yeah, now I'm just, uh, this one here. Oh, I think this works. Doot. And doot. Okay. Now I just have this, uh, ring here. And... Let's see. This one. And this one. Yeah, did it. Nice. I'm in. Uh, we could steal her amp. We could steal her ancient branch. We could steal her anti-personnel combat knife. I'm just going to take the branch. That's all I want. I stole it. Okay, I stole it successfully. Nothing suspicious about me. No, sir. I'll be on my way, madam. Goodbye. Well, I didn't want to do that. But, oh well. I was left with no other choice. Well, now we're supposed to deliver the branch to Kelton Frush. I have the branch. I should get back to Kelton as soon as I can. That's what I should do. But, do we have anything else here in Aquila City? And I mentioned this before, and I'm sure I'll mention it again. I really wish that there was a way that I could turn on every quest like I did in Skyrim and then look at the map to see what quests were nearby. That does not seem to be a possibility here at all. And I find that it's a strange design choice because now I have to like click through every single one of these to see where they take place. This one mentions Aquila City, but it's not really... I mean, the ship is in the Aquila system. I don't know, let's do this one. Marco Jansen moved to Aquila City and has been just stuck. He's desperate and is hoping I can contact his wife's cousin, Milena Axelrod, to see if she can throw some work their way. Milena is a merchant and her ship is in the Aquila system. Let us set a course. Or not. Let us show it on the map. Or not. Okay, her ship is just somewhere in the Aquila system, I guess. Just somewhere in the Aquila system. So if I were to bring up my little Pathfinder here, it's not going to show me anything. Uh, there's the razor leaf over there. Oh, I do not get paid enough to deal with stuff like that. Okay. Not sure what stuff you're talking about there, buddy. Okay, so our ship is over there. So I could just fast travel over there, but... Oftentimes when I'm in the middle of a quest, I kind of like to... make the walk. You know? I thought I was going to be oh, who's fired this? for sure. But now I got a whole performance review plan to go through. Joy. Oh, I hear you, Bailey. Davis turned literally purple chewing me out about the robot. Oh, this is Bailey. That's right. I can't believe you and Davis took out the Ashta Alpha. She's the one who um, rigged a robot to uh, mess with um, Keone's readings. Oh, there's Davis right there. Bailey's on thin ice. One more mistake and she's out of a job. Dude, she's standing right there. Maybe this Ashta Alpha can get the mayor to give us more funds to protect the Kila City. Hmm, maybe. Okay, let's try walking in this direction here. Maybe we go up here. Oh. <laughs> How do I get over to my ship? Uh, looks like there's a walkway directly beneath us here. Let's try that. Yeah, I mean, at least here fairly early in the game. You're um, in the right? Uh-huh. When I think about it, when I feel like it, I'll I'll walk places, uh, just to kind of maybe get a feel for the city, maybe hopefully learn the city. But right now, we're gonna walk out to our ship. We're gonna take off, go out into space, and see if we can't find this cousin or whatever. One thing I do not like about this ship is that I have to walk way around to the back to get on it. But that's okay. Okay. Let us... Let's see. We've got Sarah here. Who else is on this ship? There may be some people upstairs. I'm not going to go up there. 
Um, let's hop in the pilot seat. In our beautiful mantis costume. Let's take off. Time to leave this place behind. For now. Okay, uh, okay, so it's pointing me in this direction, and if we click on that, no, uh, Stellus B, maybe that's where we need to go? Stellus B here. What's this one making? What's, what's shocky? Why is it pulsing like that? Not sure. What is that? Huh. Strange, when I bring up my scanner, it kind of pulsates. Whoa. Oh, okay, I'm getting up. Talk on it. Um, wow, yeah, buddy, I don't know why it's showing that Wakashi or whatever it is like that. I can't see it out here. Good luck finding it. What's this? Oh, weird, okay. Okay, so I have to imagine that Stellus B is where we're supposed to go for this. I guess. Though I thought it was... we were going to the Aquila system. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure I have the right... <laughs> the right quest selected. Let's see where this takes us. Oh. Oh, Crimson Fleet. Yeah, we're still in Cheyenne. We're gonna take on these scummy Crimson Fleet guys. gone. Next up, you. These are just level two dudes. They shouldn't be a problem. He's down. Next up is you. Oh, we're welcome to board. Okay, so the Dalian says that we're welcome to board. Uh, is that a new quest? No, this is it. Board the Dalians and talk with Malena. Okay, all right. Well, there you go. We needed to protect her from those uh, scummy pirates. But first, let's do a little bit of looting here. Oh, whoops. Whatever. I'll take this, this, and this. Trying to run into it. Uh, over here is uh, some more stuff for us. Boost on over there. And uh, we'll help ourselves to some credits. Not bad. And then here is another ship. Zoom on over there. Now we're going to board with their ship. We're going to dock with their ship. We can hail them? Thanks for the assist. You're welcome to board. Okay. We'll board. Dock. What's up, Doc? We have a clean dock right on the money. 
Let's, um... Let's board. Just go straight to boarding. Oh, put our weapon away. Jeez. Okay, so we've boarded the... The Dalliance here, and we're going to talk with uh, Milena to see if she can throw some work Marco Jansen's way. What's up, Milena Axelrod? Oh, if fighting the fleet doesn't get the juices flowing, you're doing it wrong. <sighs> It's supposed to be safe around here, but Cheyenne has always been just a giant bastard to me. Uh, <clears throat> unless you're a native. In which case, oh my god, I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> Let's see, how'd Cheyenne get on your bad side? So you enjoy fighting pirates, or Marco Jansen sent me. We get right down to business, but let's ask her some questions. How did Cheyenne get on your bad side? I swear, every time I come through here, something goes to shit. But it always calls me back. Take now. I'm just supposed to be doing some deliveries and whammo! Pirates! Cheyenne's going to get me one of these days. Do you enjoy fighting pirates? No, not one bit. I enjoy surviving fighting pirates. Big difference. Fair. So listen, Marco Jansen sent me. His family is in dire financial straits and need your help. Ha! I knew it! I knew it! Damon should have told me. Her and Marco are so damned proud. I'd love to help them out. Might be I've got a <laughs> checkered history with the fine city of Aquila. If you clear up any lingering hard feelings, then I could resume doing business there. I'd set up Stick Up As Us Marco as my official importer. Then wins all around. Uh huh. So, uh, how'd you get blacklisted at Aquila? I used to do cargo hauls for the mayor. And he got really upset that I might have been carrying more than I ought to. We had some words, maybe one fat lip, not mine. And now I'm persona non grata. All right. Well, what do I need to do to clear things up? Well, two paths, I see. The trade authorities got a fixer named Tom Starrett. He might be able to facilitate things. Or Mayor Cartwright. God, that windbag. Well, if he'd take a sorry, that would work. Fat chance. Either way, I expect credits will be on the line. On the back end, I could afford to give you a taste of the action. Not sure it'll cover the fees. I see. This is already more than I signed up for. I might try talking with the mayor, or the trade authority might be the better bet. Oh, we have to decide right now. Uh, I kind of want to talk to the mayor because I haven't... I don't think I've talked to the mayor yet. Um, but I kind of think that the trade authority might really be the better bet. However, then we're kind of like going around behind the, the mayor's back and that might get us in trouble too. Um, let's try talking to the mayor. You're brave. I mean, obviously, with all the yoo-hoo out there. <laughs> Marco doesn't deserve you. But Simone, she's one of the good ones. You square things away. Just let Marco know. Okay, we need to get Milena access to Aquila City. We're going to do that by talking to the mayor, apparently. I met and saved Milena Axelrod, and she's happy to help the Jansons out. The only problem is she ran afoul of the law in Aquila City. She asked me to clear her name, either with Mayor Elias Cartwright or a trade authority fixer named Tom Sterritz. And that's all we have to do. Can we talk to her some more? You take care of my legal issue. My family owes you. But I figure you figured that. Pretty much. You're really odd. In a kind of amazing way. Um, thanks? Give Elias a kiss if you see him. God, I hate him. <laughs> well, let's look around her place a little bit. A little plant growing back here. She's got a copy of the comet. And she, oh, she's got a hatch. Ooh, I like I like hatches. Let's explore. Okay, well, that's kind of a neat cockpit. I kind of like it. Very utilitarian. This is our cockpit. Oh, she's got some stuff in her cargo hold. I'm not going to steal anything. All right, back to our ship. We'll just go straight to the cockpit. 
Okay. And now we need to undock. And we'll go back to Aquila City and we'll speak with the mayor. Nice. Clean set there. Um, thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, let's see here. So we go this way and we're going to fly right into the sun. Or the star. Back to Buran. Oh no, here we go, we gotta fight some more. Wrong place, wrong time. Shit, it's a mantis! Mantis! Yeah, right. Yeah. So they're afraid, because we're the mantis. Damn it! I the drive! <laughs> they're gonna leave. <laughs> You started it, so, um, tough luck. Oh, I think, I guess the other ones flew away. Why is my cursor this red dot? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Don't think I've ever seen my cursor be that color before. Okay, we'll help ourselves to that stuff. And, um, what, we'll be on our way, maybe? Well, that's a merchant freighter. Is it? Is this my quest here? No. Okay. Tequila. Let's go. Did I say tequila? I did. I did say tequila. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Go ahead and land. Don't tell me what to do. Open planet map. Aquila City. Land. Man, when was the last time we leveled up? Feels like it's been a while. Maybe we leveled up and I didn't notice. Nope, no skill points. I mean, can I even see how far along I am in the skill point? In getting my next skill point? Um, hmm. Hmm. I mean, I don't see anything here. Status? Status affects character. I mean, okay, here, right up here, okay. Level 18, uh, I guess we need 1,560 experience points to level up, and so far we've got 638 in level 18. All right. Well, let's go into the city, and we're, like I said, we'll talk to the mayor first. Just try to go about things through legal channels to maybe avoid some trouble. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. We've met this, um, Tom Starrett guy before. So, let's see. This is... Another shift. Well, they both say get access to Aquila City. I'm gonna guess that the one up here is the mayor. Could be wrong. But, I think I'm right. Oh, there, is that the mayor? I've never talked to the mayor before. Is this his house? Cartwright Manor. What's up? Aquila City truly is the jewel of the Free Star Collective. Where do you think you're going? I want to talk to you. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. Okay. Uh, the founder? Ah, that'd be Solomon Coe, 
who stuck a shovel in the ground right here over 160 years ago. That first settlement grew to become the city you see today. And let me tell you, it was no small hardship to make that dream a reality. Yes, indeed, this place has a proud and noble history. Why, for some of us, it's practically hallowed ground. That's why I like to meet each and every person who comes here, to make sure they know what a special place our city is. I see, I see. Well, um, you know, I, I prefer to be left alone. I don't really need you walking over talking to me. Well, I promise I won't take up too much of your time, but I do beg your indulgence for just a moment longer. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. Ah, oh, gee whiz. Okay, fine. Tell me about Midtown. Midtown's where most of the business and trading gets done. It's not as old as the core, because it was built later as the city grew. As the name might suggest, Wallside's the district that runs along the inside of the Great Wall that surrounds the city. It's mostly farmers and other laborers that live down there. They ain't got quite as much space, but it's cheaper, so it all works out. <laughs> okay. Um, what's the tall building in the center of town? Ah, you must be referring to The Rock. It's home to the largest and oldest cantina in town. That's also where the Council of Governors holds its occasional strategy meetings. As mayor of the city, I have a seat on the council. The Free Star Rangers are headquartered in the upper floors. They've got the best view of the city. I like to think that means they're always keeping an eye on the rest of us. I have to say, I sleep a little easier knowing the Marshal and his rangers are up there protecting the Free Star Collective. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, why does the city need a wall around it? You really are new around here, aren't you? Aquila's every bit as dangerous as it is beautiful. There are creatures out there that pose a mortal danger to anyone caught out in the open. Foremost among them is the Ashtar. They're quick, strong, clever, and damn good hunters. I'd tell you more, but you might not sleep so good. Thankfully, the wall keeps them out. As long as you stay on the right side of it, you've got nothing to worry about. Okay. Hey, uh, where can I get a drink around here? You've got a few choices there. The cantina in the rock is famed throughout the settled systems for serving the best brew that credits can buy. The hitching post ain't been open long, but most folks seem to like it. If you're looking for a quick drink before moving on, give it a try. Aggie's is a bit of an acquired taste, you might say. Folks who prefer a venue that's a little more rough and tumble tend to feel at home there. Like I said, lots of options. Oh yeah, three options. Can you tell me about the core? The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. Uh-huh. Um... Tell me more about Frank Langston and your problem? Well, I can't say I remember that, but sure, tell me more about Frank Langston and your problem. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hersenov Manor, and he's the worst, simply the worst. But it's been a problem since the Hersenov family ran out of heirs. There's an old wrong that Cartwrights have been trying to right for decades. And hence, well, I need help. Really? What's so wrong with Frank Langston? He's just another slick, rude, neon corporate hack, full of himself, and just awful. I mean, the core is history itself. Cads like him don't belong here. I see. Well, you know, if your credits are good, I might be able to oblige. Of course, of course. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate. Built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashtar overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hossanovs. Okay. Gee, tell me about the Hossanovs. The Hossanovs were one of the early families that took to making a living in space. Very industrious, mainly miners. 
They settled Planetside in the earliest days of Aquila City. They helped good old Solomon Co. a time or two. But they didn't fare well living in full gravity after a couple of generations in Zero-G. Lots of health issues. Eventually, a string of just terrible luck left only lonely old Sahar Hasanov. Poor lady. And those that were healthy kept leaving Aquila. The call of the stars. I see, I see. Well, those Ashta you mentioned, they sure do sound nasty. Deadly as sin. My granddad warned her over and over it wasn't safe. So I need someone to go to the old Zahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Akila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well, that'll be a bonus. I see, I see. Um, how will finding her will change anything? Sahar left no heirs, no instructions. So everything the Hassanovs owned was in limbo. What happened to the estate? Well, you'd have to be a lawyer to make heads or tails of it. But eventually it wound up on the open market. So slick neon corporate shills could grace our community. If she named any heir, we could get the estate back where it belongs. See things made right. Okay. Um, you know, I do have some experience with Ashta. Zahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful. And look out for yourself. Okay, thanks, pal. I don't know what all that was. Um, but, uh, last will and testament. Ask Elias Cartwright about Frank Langston. I guess this is something that showed up earlier, I don't know. Elias Cartwright is really upset that Frank Langston is living in the historic core district. He's offered me a job. Okay, so we're supposed to go get Sahar Hasanov's will from Sahar's farm on Aquila. But first, we need to see if we can't get Milena access to the city. Sir? Sir, I'd like to talk to you. Like I said, be careful. I'd rather you forget the whole Hasanov business rather than getting hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I want to get Milena Axelrod permission to do business in Aquila City. Milena Axelrod? I wished I'd never heard that name again. She's a menace. She punched me in the face. Can you imagine? Why would you want to let her back here? Oh, well, is she really that bad? Yes. Maybe. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, she ran cargo for me for years. I even considered her a friend. But she stabbed me in the back. Well, not literally. But I swore to keep her banned for life. Well, listen. If we help her, her family, the Jansons, might escape starving to death. What? Oh, that, that's terrible. Listen, I feel for the uh, Jansons. If it was just the fisticuffs, I could look the other way. But we caught her smuggling red-handed. She's been blacklisted for good reason. But legally, mm. if you pay off a bounty, I can't stop her from coming back. But we'll be watching her. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see here. So she was uh, smuggling, huh? Yes. Honestly, I can't remember exactly what the cargo was. It was years ago. But I do remember getting sucker punched. I see, I see. Well, we could think about it. We could try to persuade him and say, everyone deserves a second chance. We could pay him 5,000 credits to take care of her bounty. You know my character is not going to do that. Or we could um, take advantage of our free star ranger status and say, I'm a ranger and I'll vouch for her. Let's try that. You'd go that far for her? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Fine. Fine. She can come back. I just hope you don't regret it. I did, last time I trusted her. Alright. Oh, now we just go report back to Marco. I cleared up Milena's problems with Mayor Elias. She's free and clear to return to Aquila City. I should let Marco Jansen know the good news. That's what we should do. We should do that. Can we talk to him again, though? I wish my granddad was still with us. What happened to the Hasanovs never sat right with him. Okay. 
If you run into any problems in my town, you come tell me. Actually, tell the rangers. <laughs> All right, let's um. Kind of to break an ankle here. I used to get really grossed out by blood, but I'm used to it now. Uh, really? If you're sick or hurt, my mom's a doctor. She can fix anything, even ash the bites. That's strange that she has that accent when her dad has this completely different accent. I mean, it can happen, I guess. I've been helping out my mom with doctor stuff. It's hard sometimes, but I kind of like it. What's up? Citizen, just, just citizening. Well, let's go talk to Marco. Give him the good news. His family doesn't have to starve. This is kind of confusing, I think. Nice hat. Nice hat? I'm not even sure what the hat is. Don't remember. Um, the ranger deputy hat. Okay. All right, Marco. Every time I feel queasy asking for help, I remember Liv. It's all for her. Milena contacted me. She's making me her official importer. I'm not sure how much it pays, but I'll take it. You have no idea what you've done. Well, just be careful. Milena's been caught smuggling before. Or give Milena a chance. She's fun. Or it's all taken care of. What do you mean, give Milena a chance? Of course he's going to give Milena a chance. Um, I mean, um, I don't know, dude. You might want to be careful. I figured it might be something like that. I'll make sure to keep my distance from any of that. I can't wait to tell Simone. This is the first ray of sunshine we've seen in years. Okay, ooh, 7,500 credits, holy cow. Wow, that, that's a lot of credits. Yeesh. I'm glad we left Sidonia. Things are going to get better. They're going to let me pitch my presentation at the meeting. Tomorrow. Thank you for saving me. Oh, there she is. I was wondering where Simone was. I was so scared. I hope that never happens again. Thank you for saving my husband. You're welcome. Aquila City is way more fun than Sidonia. Way more fun than Sidonia. Well. Now we have this um, this quest here that we just got from Mayor Cartwright. We're supposed to go get Sahar Hasanov's will. I'll show it on the map. How far away is it? Do we need to fly there? I don't know if we could walk there or not. Oh, where'd it go? Right here. Let's see. Um, kind of. I'm just curious. Is it walkable? Uh, I think it's pointing me back to my ship. Which is telling me that... <laughs> that we need to get on our ship to fly there. So let's see if I could... I wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere. Yeah, I do wonder that. Because they have little outposts everywhere. Oh, yeah? There were so many facilities abandoned after the colony war. Yeah. The pirates used them as forward operating bases all over the settled systems. Really? Huh, that's fascinating. Uh, I'm going to see if I could find my way back to my ship. I did it once before from the stretch. Should be able to do it again. Let's see. Having a good one? Yep. Best one ever. Come this way, and then that's a dead end. So now we go. Down here, and then up here, and then I, I, was going to be fired for sure. I think it's 
Right here. I did it. I found my way back. You know I went to chef school? He went to chef school. <laughs> Make our walk back to our ship here. The long walk back to the back of our ship. The ship looks much bigger on the outside than it does on the inside. But there's like storage, cargo space, engines landing gear shield stuff you know stuff so we need to take off dust off the planets open the planet map choose so here's farm and land landing initiated oh whoa freaking dinosaur walking around in there this is swarming interesting get up so am I am I traveling with anyone right now is anyone helping me am I just on my own hi skipper what do you need hey Gideon what can I do for you boss I'd like you to follow me for a while I thought you never ask <laughs> let's have him follow me <laughs> does he have any uh, weapons what's up let's trade gear Glad to be lending a hand, Skipper. Let's see here. He has... Uh, he just has some jacketed leatherware. He doesn't even have a weapon. And as far as weapons go... I mean, we got this dumb regulator we could give to him. Or this despondent assassin. But it's for against humans, really. This is what... I think this is what I'm using. And I'm fond of this weapon, so I'm not going to give it to him. We could give him this lame regulator that'll help him some but i mean really it's silly um i mean does he need a suit to wear that all skipper i mean we could go here to our uh, cargo hold and um we could get him a space suit to wear like um why not this um this one let's see Wow, wow, this one offers 128 physical protection. Holy cow. This regular suit is way better than these other ones. Jeez. Well, let's give him this. We'll take that. We'll, um... Let's give him a better weapon. I, I don't know what kind of weapons he uses. What's he's gonna... I mean, every character seems like they have their chosen weapon types. I have no idea what his is. Give him a pack so he could fly around. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. I'll give him that. Give him a helmet so that he doesn't choke to death out in space. And then, um, oh. Uh,. I need to give him some ammo. I don't remember what weapon I gave him. So we'll just give him... We'll sort by... Damage. Ooh, we'll give him the Ashta Tamer. We'll give him that, since we're going to go fight Ashta. This thing uses 40 millimeter XPL. So, ammo. Whoa, that's all the ammo I have on the Razor Leaf. So I, I probably have a bunch of ammo on my, my person. Howdy, Skipper. Oh... Let's see what you've got there. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we are going to give him the Ash to Tamer. We're going to give him this spacesuit. We're going to give him this pack. 
We're gonna give him this helmet. We're gonna give him some ammo, if I have it. Oh no. I don't seem to have the ammo that that Ashta Tamer... Oh no, here it is right here. I'm gonna give you one of these. One piece of ammo, because that's all you need. Okay, will he use that weapon? Will he use that suit? I have no idea. Um, the only thing I know about him is from our ship menu, and then I look at the crew, and I see Gideon. Oh, uh, okay, these are systems, so I have no idea what weapons he likes to use, so we'll see. But we'll see in the next episode. It's time for me to end this one. We come back, we will exit the ship, and we will walk over to the farm. <laughs> the place is swarming with Ashta, man. Unfortunately, I can't um, highlight them, but you see him walking around over there. Looks like there's a big something over there. I don't think that's an Ashta. I think it's just it's probably herbivores. But anyway, we'll do that in the next episode. Hope you'll come back, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you join me again in the next episode.